What's cracking, mother truckers? How the tits y'all doing today? Outlaw back here for another gosh dang vidja. Do you guys remember the last, not the last vidja, but two vidjas ago, okay? I was in Missouri and I got this, remember I told you I ordered that crap from the Northerner, that Siberia stuff, right? So I did a vidja on that and y'all seemed to love it. It was, it was ridiculous. If you ain't seen that vidja yet, you gotta go watch it. Like the entire time I've got this stuff in, I am buzzing my butt off. Like I am completely gone. And I had a couple other people do it with me. It was it, it was hilarious. The stuff we were saying, the, the, the faces, because it's all upper decked, it's hilarious. So the Northerners saw that video and then they decided to send me some of this other stuff. Because apparently that Siberia, they don't they don't ship it to the US or Canada anymore. I don't know if it's because it's like too strong. The Northerner was like, we're gonna send you the most powerful stuff we sell to the US. So they sent me that. And that is Jacobson's Swedish Snus. And this one is melon flavor. And this is called melon strong. Strong meaning, <laughs> What the tits do you think? So I saw the melon and I didn't really know. Like, I don't know much about snus or anything, right? I've done it, you know, in vidges before and stuff. But what I'm starting to realize about snus is, you know, this stuff originates from Sweden, right? And all these mother truckers over in Sweden, they like their shit strong. And uh, apparently this stuff is as well. And the melon, I'm like, what the tits is that? I had to look it up. It's like watermelon flavored. What? So they've got this in wintergreen, mint, and like watermelon, and I think they got another flavor or something like that. But um, So the Northerners sent me this, and they're like, this is the strongest one that we send to the US. So I decided to look up how strong this was, and it turns out that there's 20 portions in here. In America, we call them pouches. In Sweden, they call them, actually, never freaking mind. They call it pouches too. But anyways, Sweden, they call them portions as well. So there's 20 pouches in this. For every pouch, there's 14 milligrams of nicotine. Now I don't know exactly what that equates to when you take a pinch of Copenhagen or something. You know, like it's hard to find numbers on what exactly because they change them. You know, there's like a, there was like a steady done in 06 and 07 that like Copenhagen had this amount. Copenhagen snuff apparently is the strongest. And, um, but uh, it doesn't, it doesn't hold to snooze, first of all, okay? I know that. It's like I just spit in that good old mud jug, ding! So this has 14 milligrams of nicotine per pouch, right? Let's, let's compare that to the Siberia. I looked up how much the Siberia, how many milligrams of nicotine were in the Siberia per pouch. 43! 43 milligrams of nicotine. I put three in, so that means I had over 100 milligrams of nicotine going through my gosh dang bloodstream, making me go. Anyways, let's freaking quit talking and let's crack this son of a bitch and get us a pouch. Whoa, holy dick. That's definitely watermelon. God dang, it smells good. So I looked this up online and everybody's basically saying that it tastes like watermelon and cantaloupe together. So let's get some fruitiness in our lip. Don't forget to pack your pouches. All right. There she freaking blows. I don't know. How many should we throw in, y'all? How many? Let's go ahead and you gotta do it in the upper decker, by the way. You just gotta. There's one. Ooh! Oh, dang, dude. Okay, let's go. Two. Mm. Let's just do three. Screw it. We gotta, we gotta compare it, right? Man, Mark, you just cannot look good with a gosh dang upper decker, but they are so freaking delicious. Gotta love it. All right, let's do one more. Screw it. Here you go. So right now, I've got about 45 milligrams of nicotine in my system. That's basically one of them Siberias in my lips right now. Hey, how do I look, y'all? Oh, it's burning a little bit. Burning a little bit. This Siberia kicked my dick, y'all. That was burning like some <sighs> Okay. Probably don't need a spit, but I'm gonna do it anyways, just to be safe, you know what I mean? I don't wanna be uh, having watermelon diarrhea later. This might be X-Lax, who knows? Okay, honestly, I've had this in for like 
20 seconds, no joke, and I'm already feeling a buzz. So, whoa, damn. Whoo, boy. Yeah, yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely already getting a buzz. If I start to mellow out here and get the shakes, y'all, don't worry. I'm a professional dipper. I've been doing this a long time. Do not try this at home. Please keep all hands and feet inside the vehicle. You hear her at all times. Whoo, boy. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep, it's kicking my dick. So, I'm going to wait for this to, the, the flavor. I definitely taste watermelon, and I'm tasting watermelon at first, and then I'm getting like a cantaloupe kick at the end. You know what I mean? So, uh, it's funny because when I had that Siberian before, and I was laughing, it was hurting my dang head so bad. It was like a nicotine rush, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna let this sit a sec. But so far, so good. So, this is the, the Jacobsons, right? Okay, so this is what the can looks like. And a lot of people, I wanted to go over this really quick, because a lot of people always ask, when you get these snooze cans and stuff, they always have like a, a lid on the top that you can just, you know, pop, pop them on there or whatever. I explained this before, but it's basically these pouches and portions through snooze are supposed to last like up to two hours. You know what I mean? So um, you can put, you can take these out after like 20, 30 minutes or whatever, put them in here, put it back up here so it doesn't have to mix with your good stuff in here. And, uh, and then you can save it for later. You know what I mean? So that's pretty cool. Now, it actually works because I put, I don't know if you guys remember the last video, I put those three that I put in and I put them on top there and the next day I put those back in and it still had a freaking kick, like going strong. So, it's pretty gosh dang cool, I guess. I'm definitely getting more into snooze. I just realized this, but the, so the, the, the Jacobson's logo is a boat, right? It's very nautical, nautical and uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but around the edges here, it's a compass. And then you get the nautical star. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty sick as ticks. Okay, so the flavor. I'm, I'm getting a watermelon flavor for sure. Now, I've only had it in for like, you know, three or four minutes here. I'm not getting a giant watermelon flavor, but when I breathe, my breath definitely smelling like watermelon right now. Watermelon and cantaloupe. So, uh, you know. You can go right, Poppy, so, you know, mom's telling you to eat your vegetables and your fruits. Just pop some of these sons of bitches in and you can lie to her. Be like, mom, look, my breath smells like, you know, they're definitely not going to know you got anything in. Look at this. I mean, look. Mom, what are you even talking about? I ain't dipping. I mean, you ain't, you're snoozing. So, she ain't going to know what the tits that is. Y'all notice Band Bro just passed the tits out over here? He's having freaking dip dreams right now, y'all. He's probably dreaming about the time I dropped Copenhagen on the floor. And he licked it up because he thought it was chocolate. And it wasn't. And he buzzed his dick off for days. Yeah, definitely getting a freaking buzz. Ooh, boy, it's a good buzz, too. Like, real good buzz. Uh, I, you know, this is what I love about snooze. I can freaking get a buzz off this son of a bitch what I can't get off dip, you know what I mean? Like, I can pop a dip of COVID egg in, and it's just not the same, right? You know, you're just like, you're getting a little bit of nicotine, but this is like, whoa, like if you want a freaking buzz, you get some of this some bitch. This is better. See, this is, I like this a little bit better than the Siberia because the Siberia was like so strong. You know what I mean? Like if I really want to kick a nicotine, I'm going to get some of that Siberia. But this is like the perfect amount of buzz, you know, just when you're chilling on the couch watching a gosh dang fight or a football game or a gosh dang Roseanne. You know, and just freaking pop this one of some dicks in, and all in all, I'm actually liking this better than the Siberia. The Siberia taste was really minty and really good, and they have, you know, they have a couple different flavors of that. But this stuff you could get in the U.S. Northerner sells it. They sent me this, and um, dang, dude, Snooze might be the freaking way to go for the buzz, man. Made in gosh dang Sweden. Them Swedes know what the tits they're freaking doing over there, y'all. They don't give a tit. They're just like, nope, we're just putting all the nicotine in that son bitch. We're giving our consumers what they want, and that's a big old buzz. How about that warning label? Dennis stuck a ding a ding sling a ling a sling along. Brenda from McKellandy. So here is the Siberia that I tried the last one. Extremely strong. This is like the strongest crap you can freaking get. You know what I mean? So, uh, and that's what they look like. They're a little more white. But yeah, on this one they call them portions, you see. And this, you know, Jacobson's, they call them patches. But I also have this, which I'm gonna do in a video too. This one apparently isn't sold in the US either, um, but the strength is ridiculous on this son bitch, and it's called Thunder. 
ultra strong. And apparently it's about, I mean, it has the strength on there. Look at this. It has the strength on there, like all the way up, plus a plus. So this one is apparently really strong as well. So I'm gonna have to do a video on this. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see a video on this son of a bitch, because if you guys wanna see me buzz my dick off like I did on the Siberia, I mean, this is pretty much the closest. And I'm buzzed real gosh dang good on this Jacobson's, man. Dude, why do I feel like I'm, like, reviewing drugs right now? In the next Outlaw video, how to inject heroin into your bloodstream. Not too freaking shabby, y'all. Thanks to the Northerner for sending me this stuff. Uh, I might have to get at them about sending me some other crap like this, because I'm digging this stuff, man. It's something new. Like, you know, I've done every freaking review there is on, to on American Tobacco, but I'm going to put the link in the description box below to the website if you guys want to get some of this stuff. Because uh, some of you guys might want to try it for yourself. That Siberia, man, if you can get your hands on some of that Siberia, uh, get, get your hands on some of this stuff, though. This will give you a... Uh, man. Don't put one in. Put three. You got it. You got to go all the freaking way. Oh, and also, I, a lot of you guys always talk about, like, oh, man, I can't get Southern Blend, Copenhagen Southern Blend and stuff like that. The Northerner actually sells American chew, too. Like, apparently they have a U.S. Like, it's shipped from the U.S. Like, they have a place in the U.S. here. So they get Southern Blend. So if you can't get Southern Blend in your area, just go on their website and you can get it there. So that's kind of gosh dang cool, man. So I'm going to put the link in the description box below. Click that sub bitch, get you some. And then, you know, you can get some other dip stuff. And they got a bunch of crap over there. So just check it out.